<laughs> our final guest tonight is a star of stage and screen and now both at the same time. Whoa! What? Conor Nakamura won critical acclaim for his performance in the public theater's Here Lies Love. And then he went on to star as the sneaky computer genius Cutie Oliver in ABC's How to, to Get, get away, away with murder. murder. During the Broadway shutdown, he traveled to the Signature Theater in Virginia to star in a new production of Simply Sondheim, specifically, specifically staged for the screen. Say oh. that, Jenna says, simply Sondheim specifically staged for the screen. Seven swans swam. swimming. So he's starring in that, and uh, it's now available for you to stream right now at home. I can't wait to talk to him about it, so let's welcome to the show, Conrad, Conrad Ricamora. Conrad, hi! Good morning. Good How morning. are you? I'm doing well. Good morning tonight. Ooh, you look so cozy with a fire. Is behind yes. you? No, I'm here shooting in Georgia and got this really great cabin. So I joined the cast of The Resident uh, on Fox uh, this this year, and so we're shooting that. Have you heard that? Have you seen that that viral video of the lawyer who was on Zoom today who couldn't get rid of the the uh, the Zoom filter or and the I'm here live. I'm not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's uh, iconic. We know that a lot of people know you from television. television. Uh, yeah. From from your portrayal of Oliver. Okay, Viola Davis on set. Is it? What is it like? <laughs> Are you at all times in awe slash terrified? No, that's how she, I would be. she doesn't allow you to be in awe of her because she's so real. I remember the first time I shot with her. And she was sitting next to me at the chairs waiting to uh, for them to call us to set. And she looks at me and starts pulling on her spanks and is like, ooh, is this cutting off my circulation? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and from then on, I was like, oh, OK, you're like and I don't know if she was doing that on purpose to, like, make me feel comfortable because I was in the midst of an icon and she just brought it right back down to earth. And yeah. from then on, from day one, it felt like, uh, that, I mean, yeah, it, she felt approachable. She felt easy to work with. So, uh, and it just, she just happens to be one of the greatest actors yeah. that's ever lived. <laughs> but you were a theater guy first. Yes. Well, it started, it started doing theater in Charlotte, North Carolina. I started doing community theater. I decided to go to grad school at University of Tennessee and then came to New York and booked uh, Here Lies Love actually while I was still in my third year. Uh, so uh, when I got to New York, I had a job, which was great. I saw you in the, in the beginning of Here Lies Love. Oh, back good. Before yeah. everyone knew it was cool. Uh, oh, Michael's a trendsetter. Trend alert. <laughs> And yeah. speaking of stars, you are you are you are going to be appearing with uh, appearing now all the stars with all of the stars. You, yeah. Emily Skinner, Norm Lewis. So for yeah. anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, the Signature Theater in Virginia, they're doing this series, the Signature Feature series, uh, five staged plays and or musicals that they specifically created during this time to be filmed and now to be streamed. You star in one of them, and it is currently streaming right now. Tell us a little bit about Signature Theater's Simply Sondheim. Yeah, it's a collection of Sondheim, uh, some of his best songs, and some hidden gems that people may have forgotten about or have never heard before. It truly was an honor to be back in a theater around other crew, an orchestra. I mean, I did miss the audience so much. I, I mean, my heart was just oh. aching for, for a live audience, but mm -hmm. to be able to, to congregate with all of these theater practitioners uh, felt so special in, in the middle of, you know, the craziest year of our lives. <laughs> yeah. And I have to say, it's so beautifully done. I mean, when I stepped into the theater and saw the lighting and the orchestra, it did feel extremely magical to be in that space. Again, when you do theater, the other half of the magic is the electricity from the audience. So mm -hmm. it, it's one of the things you have to get used to as a theater performer that that electricity comes like now when you guys are watching it like at home. But let's not <laughs> fail to mention, Conrad, you get Finishing the Hat. Finishing the oh, Hat. Yeah. Listen, I think I just got lucky, but <laughs> it is a song that I, I can connect to. I think all of us uh, who are artists know what it's like to 
get so intensely focused on something that you start forgetting about your personal relationships and then you wake up and you're like, oh shit, why? <laughs> I, need yeah. to, uh, I need to call that friend or pay more attention to my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it's Valentine's Day on Mondays. And I do want to say that like the thing about shooting this production was I will never take for granted being at the theater as a spectator or as a performer ever again. I know that we all complain about like eight shows a week and it is very hard, but man, what I wouldn't give to be on that eighth show where you're just about to like on your last leg. So for folks who want to watch, uh, just go to www.sigtheater.com work you can enjoy and support support an amazing theater you're supporting well. a theater and uh you can have a night of sondheim music right in your very living room it is so special uh and I'm also trying. i would like to plug one other thing yeah, that's plug really it cool. all babe um i'm writing a show called no rice about three gay asian men in new york city looking for love sex and acceptance in a white man's world with kelvin moon low from beetlejuice and jay magis from uh, Moulin Rouge, and we've got some serious, crazy talent attached as producers, executive producers. Hopefully, that's going to be starting shooting this year at some point. Wait a minute, I feel like I feel like we're getting breaking news. breaking news. Michael, right. hit the button. No, I got a breaking hit the news button. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to do it. <laughs> oh well, my God. Breaking, break, breaking news just coming just in we right have here. It. Uh, you should go to Instagram and follow at Connor Dracomora. It's called is, No Rice. No yep. Rice. No Rice. And it's a new project about three gay Asian men looking for love uh, a list of acceptance. Love, and it's all coming through my earpiece. Hold on one more time. Love. Yeah. Love, sex, and acceptance. Love, sex, love, and, sex acceptance. and acceptance. Love, sex, yeah. in New York City. Um, yeah. Are there any morning news show segments? Uh, we're available. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep that in mind. Conrad, <laughs> you well, th I love the breaking news. I can't wait to see No Rice. I can't wait to watch The Resident. So many amazing things. And uh, I'll be tuning into Simply Sondheim tonight. Love Cheers, you, my darling. Tonight. And good morning tonight. <laughs>